So we're in Forest Park today specifically to track box turtles that we've tagged with little VHF radio transmitters and it came as a great surprise to, to me certainly as a new arrival in, in St. Louis to discover that you know not only do we have this beautiful park of, of Forest Park here but the wildlife in this park is extraordinary for a, an urban park and one of those um, species is box turtles. St. Louis Box Turtle Project which is this wonderful project we started a couple years ago in a partnership with the St. Louis Zoo, primarily the Institute for Conservation Medicine, Washington University in St. Louis, Forest Park Forever, Tyson Research Center is a part of it. And it's this project where we're really putting science into action to better understand these iconic little charismatic creatures that are in our backyard, but also to really engage people in nature. Big part of this project. One of the original reasons why we got involved in this project is because for the last few years I've been heading up a giant tortoise movement ecology program out on the Galapagos Islands. Today we have something like 85 GPS tagged tortoises roaming around three different Galapagos Islands. So we're trying to study movement ecology, specifically the evolution of uh, migration out on Galapagos. When you come here to Forest Park and you, and you look at the orientation of these forest fragments and the fact they've got turtles in them, you've almost got like a, a mini urban Galapagos archipelago sitting right here in the middle of St. Louis. You've got islands, this is an island fragment, islands of different size, islands of different isolation, islands of different ecological contexts and human impacts, and you've got turtles figuring out how to live in all of them, just like, well, not quite just like on Galapagos, but the analogy is striking. So every few days, hopefully twice a week, we're out here tracking each turtle to see where it's been. Channel 14, mm -hmm. T-Rex, here we come. To look at its behavior, check its weight. 500 grams. And try and understand how turtles are using space within the park is kind of step one. And this is only the second hibernation we're going through, but they definitely seem to be starting to moving, to back. moving back and thinking about very close to where they were last year. Step two is to understand in some detail the health status of the turtles in Forest Park. In these first two years, we've, we've gotten a lot of preliminary data to better understand sort of what it means to be a box turtle or any other kind of urban wildlife and some of those health stressors that they face today. If we can come up with some concrete data that give us a, an understanding of how well or badly the turtles are doing, we can then sit down with the, you know, the managers here and start talking about maybe how to improve the management of some of these areas. One of the big components of conservation today is to translate science into caring, people caring about nature, people understanding nature and some of the challenges that, that wildlife populations may face, but also some of the, the things that we can do and some of the, the hopeful messages that get out there. And I tell you, a little box turtle and a kid, when they make that connection, I think we're doing great things for, for getting them energized and caring about the nature right here in St. Louis. 